Rabbi, what you thought about this guy named Brian Williams I've been reading the paper about? Can a guy lie about being in a helicopter and get hit by a rocket? What's your thought of that? Interesting question, Effie. Um, I want to tell you a story. Um, the Baal Shem Tov said, he said, once upon a time there was a Jew living in Tzfat. And he gets a knock on the door in the middle of the night. An old man with a white beard is there, and he looks at the man, and he says to him, uh, Who are you? He says, I'm Eliyahu, and I'm Elijah the prophet, and I'm here to tell you the secrets of the Torah, the most deepest secrets of the Torah. So the man says, Of course, come inside. And then Eliyahu and Abi says, There's one thing I need to tell you first. I need you to tell me what mitzvah, what good deed you did on your bar mitzvah. Because on your bar mitzvah, many years ago, there was one good deed that you did that reverberated throughout the heavens. And everybody wants to know what it is, and nobody knows what it is. I'd like you to tell it to me, and then I teach you the secrets of the Torah. And the man looked at Eliyahu and Avi, and he said, What I did is between me and Hashem, me and God. I don't want anybody knowing about it. And Eliyahu and Avi pressed him and said, Please tell me, and I will teach you the deepest secrets of the Torah. He said, Absolutely not. And he turned down Elijah the prophet's offer. The Baal Shem Tov told his students, he said, In my previous lifetime, I was that person. And I was reincarnated into being this Baal Shem Tov now, this great tzaddik. See, Effie, in Torah, we find that being humble, humility is the greatest virtue. Brian Williams, your question, and all the media, what everybody's talking about, he, it, it's a pressure from the media to be the one who has the most outrageous stories, the most amazing stories. That's why he makes up stories about being in a helicopter and hit with an RPG rocket. We have to learn as Jews that humility, to be modest in the ways of Hashem. When you do a mitzvah, you do a good deed. Nobody needs to know about it. Only you and God, that's enough. You don't need to be a celebrity and tell the whole world about everything. We need to be humble in the ways of Hashem.